Hi Willow and Ash class, so we're returning to the bear and the piano today. Yesterday I left you with this page. We know the big bear had found this piano in the forest. He wasn't sure what it was at first and it made some strange sounds but he kept going back to it. He played it and played it and played it until he was able to play the piano really really well. He then decided to go to the big city where he made his name. He drew in crowds, he played in huge theatres, but we left at the page where he was looking up at the moon and the stars in the sky. And it said, the city was everything he had hoped it would be, but deep down, something tugged at the bear's heart. I left you with the question, what do you think was tugging at the bear's heart? What do you think was tugging at the bear's heart? And what do you think he will do next? He had the fame and awards and all the music in the world, but he missed the forest. He missed his old friends. He missed his home. So the bear decided to go back. He speedily crossed the river and excitedly bounded into the forest. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his time in the city. But when the bear reached the familiar clearing, it was empty. No piano, no bears, no anything. The bear started to worry that his friends had forgotten him or that they were angry that he had left them behind. Then a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I'm back, I've missed you so much. Without saying a word, the grey bear ran back into the forest. Wait, called the bear. I'm sorry I left. Please stop. But his friend just kept running. The bear stumbled after him, moving deeper and deeper into the forest, until he saw something that made his fur stand on end. For the bear had not been forgotten. His friends weren't angry, but they were proud. The bear realised that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there watching from afar. They had even kept the piano safe in the shade, ready for his return. So after the bear had told his friends about his life in the city and many of the concerts he had played, he sat down to play one more, this time for the most important audience of all. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story, Willow Class and Ash Class. Take care.